Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ujwal Gajula, consultant gastroenterologist and liver specialist, currently working at Care Hospital High Tech City. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you about uh, a disease called as inflammatory bowel disease. So as the name suggests, inflammatory bowel disease is nothing but uh, there is a chronic inflammation of the large intestine, sometimes small intestine and rarely it can involve the stomach. So, which is nothing but our own immune cells try to attack our large intestine and small intestinal cells which leads to this uh, disease what we call it as inflammatory bowel disease. It is bro broadly categorized into two uh, sub diseases. First thing is Crohn's disease which can involve both large intestine, small intestine and also stomach and uh, rarely esophagus also. However, ulcerative colitis predominantly, predominantly involves only large intestine and what are the symptoms which we usually see uh, in patients is first thing they, they may present with uh, loose motions for a period of prolonged duration for example it can be more than one or two to three months and some patients may present with blood in stools and rarely they may have uh, features of nutritional deficiencies such as weight loss sometimes they may develop leg swelling and they may develop sores in the oral cavity what we call as ulcers in the oral cavity also and uh, patients with Crohn's disease may present with uh, small intestinal obstruction also sometimes they may have severe pain in the abdomen and uh, they, they persist to have these symptoms may land up in surgery sometimes so what are the investigations which we do for this Crohn's and ulcerative colitis? Most of the tests uh, initially we suggest to check for routine hemoglobin to check for any hemoglobin drop. At the same time we check for any inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein and ESR. And if the patient is having this prolonged diarrhea with blood in stools, we may suggest to undergo procedure called as colonoscopy in which we check the large intestine with the help of a camera and if, if required we may take biopsies from the large intestine and the end part of the small intestine to differentiate between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and, uh, uh, and rarely if, if somebody has small intestinal Crohn's disease patient may uh, we may advise for CT scan of the small intestine what we call the CT enterography. The, these are the basic tests which will try to give a diagnosis of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And regarding the treatment options, in, uh, as I told you that this is a disease of inflammation of the large intestine and small intestine, we usually suggest to suppress this inflammation with the help of anti-inflammatory anti drugs such as mesalamine and sulfasalazine. If somebody requires further more treatment, we may ask them to put on steroids which reduces this inflammation and rarely what we give it is a medicine what we call as azathioprine which will suppress the inflammation. If a patient persists to have severe disease, we may put them on biologicals which are nothing but monoclonal antibodies which will try to suppress the inflammation of the large intestine. And if patients develop complications such as perforation or any intestinal obstruction or if, if somebody have malnutrition which who, who are not responding to the treatment, they may require surgery. So uh, dear friends, if somebody has these loose tools for a mo period of more, more than one month, if somebody develops blood in stools, don't neglect, please consult a gastroenterologist to rule out any underlying inflammatory bowel disease as the disease is increasing even in India nowadays. Thank you.